Hi, thanks for joining me again. Now, you may have heard of the term pound cost averaging in relation to investing. But what does it mean and why does it matter when you're drawing down on your pension or retirement savings? Pound cost averaging is relevant when you're paying into an investment regularly and you're buying shares. Each time you buy shares, the price changes because that's the nature of shares. Prices fluctuate all the time. If you're making a regular contribution of a similar amount every month, you buy more shares when the share markets have fallen and when prices rise again, of course, you'll buy fewer shares. The positive thing is that the shares that you bought cheaply will have risen in value too. Overall, this has the effect of smoothing the ups and downs of the share price over time. Good news. But as you move into retirement and look at drawing down on your retirement savings, you're thinking about doing the opposite. You're not buying more shares as you're no longer contributing to your pension or investment scheme. Instead, of course, if you're taking an income, you're selling some of your investments each and every month to provide that income. Pound cost averaging can work against you when you're taking money out. Withdrawing has a similar smoothing effect of the ups and downs of share prices over time, just in reverse. It may sound obvious, but the issue is that you don't really want to be selling some of your shares or investments when they're down in value. Because, of course, every share sold to cover your income needs whilst markets are down is a share which cannot recover when markets rise again. And remember, markets always historically have risen again after every period of volatility or every fall. But the impact on your overall portfolio, of course, is magnified by you taking this money out. And the impact of pound cost averaging can be profound if you're drawing out a large percentage of your investment portfolio and the downturn is prolonged. So what can you do to combat the effects of pound cost averaging? Well, My first bit of advice, I suppose, is only withdraw money generated from dividends or interest from your portfolio. And this means, of course, the capital, the actual shares you own, remain intact to hopefully recover in time. Secondly, of course, you could consider spending your cash savings before selling investments. I make sure that all of my clients have cash or alternative guaranteed income from other things, such as state pensions, non-stock market investments, maybe buy-to-lets, that will cover five years' worth of expenditure. I want it easily accessible so that they can avoid them having to sell investments in a market downturn. If possible, do the same or have at least some cash savings. This is the time to fall back on them when the markets are down. Thirdly, see whether you can afford to reduce the income you take for a period of time to allow the markets to recover. And finally, if you have the option, maybe consider delaying your plans to retire. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. I'm Justin King. I'm a chartered and certified financial planner. And my aim is to help people live successful lives. That often involves understanding your money. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button to help more people like you find my channel. And of course, please take a listen to my podcast, The Retirement Cafe, which you can find at theretirementcafe.co.uk or any of your podcast players. For now, I'm Justin King, helping you live your best life.